Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here, and it's time to make these little apple pie cookies. That's right, I saw it on, hang on, it was on Facebook, it got passed around, so I printed out the recipe. Um, this is who I got the recipe from, or that was the source, so give credit to them for this. Uh, let's give it a try. All right, pretty simple. You got a little bit of nutmeg, some cinnamon, sugar, apple pie filling, caramel topping, uh, pie crust, two pie crusts are in here and one egg and a round cookie cutter. All right. So I'll put the first one right here. There we go. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pull this out and let it set out behind me and I'll use this in a minute. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna spread this all with caramel topping. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is take your your apple topping, and you're gonna to wanna to cut it up. You want them in small small pieces. Then we're gonna put that on here. So all I'm doing right now is putting the other dough, I'm cutting these half inch strips, and I'm just laying them right across, right across like this. And then you're gonna go across the other way like this, like that. All right, so just go ahead and complete this whole thing first. Some are gonna be a little bit thicker than others, but I'm just gonna start cutting my, cutting my cookies here. Set it right there. there we go. Let me do my next cookie. And just when you think you were done, you take that one egg. Just gonna do a little quick brushing on top. And the last thing you do is take your cinnamon, nutmeg, and sugar, and you're just gonna kind of. Sprinkle a little bit on each cookie. I'm gonna get these in the oven. 350, 20 to 25 minutes. You'll know when they start to get kind of golden brown and look like little apple pies. One of the things I don't like about food blogging is they never give you enough instructions. That's why video is really cool. That's why my mistakes are good for you guys to learn by. Now I don't make, I mean I made, I'll show you. I made a little mistake on this by putting, putting a little bit too much topping. As you can see, it leaked on the outsides, kind of burned on here. But so I'm gonna let this cool for a minute and then I'm going to take the cookies off and try to make them look nice. But one of the things that food bloggers don't tell you, they show you a beautiful picture and they get this great photography and they never instruct you on how much topping to put on. So I should have put less caramel on and less of the apple stuff. Should have been really a thin light coating and I put too much and that's why I got this issue right here, okay? So I just wanna say to improve this recipe and as most of you know who watch the show regularly, I do everything first time. To improve this recipe, I'd be really stingy on the topping, don't put a lot. Okay, so they came out good. You can see they're, they're all in one piece. They're still cooling a little bit, but see how they move? They're all like cookies with the apple and the cinnamon and the sugar and like completely, completely bad for you, but they look delicious, don't they? Okay, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I was a little nervous there because as I put the cookies in the oven and they got warm, they started to ooze, but all the, all the outside just, just kind of snapped right off. It crystallized and you could remove the perimeter. So the cookies come out beautiful. That's right. I got one right here. They're still not cool yet, but there's one right there. Ta-da! And I'm gonna give it a try right now. Here we go. You ready? And I'm only having one, and then I'll probably call my friends over to eat the rest. All right, here we go. I hate the fact that you guys can hear me chewing. I need to cover my microphone when I chew. Um, they're amazing. They're sweet caramel apple pie cookies. That's exactly what they are and they're amazing, and you should try these. 
I'm going to leave them in a little bit longer next time. I'm going to put a little less topping next time, but they're flawless. They're, um, they're going to be a hit, whether you do them for Thanksgiving or any time of the year. All right, you guys. I'll see you later. Go make these. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.